<laughs> Guys, gals, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the inaugural FIFA 21 career mode series. I'm your host, Liquid Hot Shot. Hope everyone's doing really well today. We're going to be jumping in and starting a career mode uh, here on FIFA 21. It's a ton of fun so far. I've uh, got a player career myself. Um that i will be live streaming over on twitch.tv from time to time so if you want to go check that out links in the description but without any further ado we're going to choose ourselves a character this guy looks a bit a bit insane um so we're going to go ahead and choose him i just hope everyone's doing really well today um <clears throat> Spot on the channel recently has been insane. I can't lie and Obviously, you've probably noticed something. We got ourselves a face cam here uh, It's because I have copped FIFA 21 on the PC So that allows me to improve uh, The production quality here uh, basically um, I'm not gonna take too long in doing a guy. I'm not too fussed because it's probably the gameplay you guys are wanting um but yeah i'm excited for this game the series we're going to be doing i'll be showing you guys in a minute uh but yeah i'm excited it's not going to be as long as the markham one unless it takes more episodes uh just because of where the team is situated in the english division in the english tier system anyway think it's going to be a ton of fun i've played as them in the past uh definitely a team with some quality and we're going to give our guy a fucking beautiful jawline big ass chin some smaller ears why not um give him like a flap cap because i'm from the north if you haven't if you don't know by the accent but yeah everyone near me or everyone in, in general here on fifa at the minute are all doing leeds road to glories now all of them are not from leeds i'm from leeds but i'm not jumping on the train simply because of saturation and you guys have probably seen a fifa road to glory or whatever on everyone else's channel already so <clears throat> or at least the start of one uh, I think we're going to rock the white the white shirt and the black pants, dude. Um, obviously, white socks. And then we'll cop some black shoes as well. Look a little bit professional up in this piece. So, like I've just said, <clears throat> Leeds United were promoted last season but we're going to play, be starting in the championship here my player career is with bournemouth so if you want to check out my player career again like i say it's over on twitch.tv um so go and check that out but we're actually going to be playing as watford watford got relegated last season uh it's a shame for them they're a decent side but we're gonna look to make them even better in this fifa 21 manager career mode um i'm excited uh, one of the guys I stream with, a guy called Reese, he's a Watford fan from Glasgow. Um, so, yeah, gonna whack it out world class, four minute halves. Sterling, please. Financial takeover is disabled. International drop offers, we're not gonna be managing an international side, so we're gonna disable that. First transfer window is enabled, European competitions are enabled as well so let's go ahead and advance so football is back it is uh like i say i'm fucking excited man fifa 21 it feels good it feels more polished than fifa 20 did but obviously the game's still new to me so there are gonna be new there, there are gonna be numerous mistakes that i am going to make um <clears throat> from time to time so if you want to feel like you want to guide me in the comment section below feel free to do that as well um with pre-season tournament i mean let, let's just look at this screen this screen the, the graphics on this game look nice um do 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 i'm gonna be simming the cup anyway i feel as though we should probably play in the european shield 
it's the mid one it's a one above the champions trophy one below the european international cup so we'll do the european shield we're going to be simming the preseason, and you're going to have to de deal with my incompetence at the start of this career mode i only played maybe an hour an hour and a half on the ea trial <clears throat> with leads on the playstation but yeah i done <laughs> The game was broken in the trial, so I couldn't play as much as I wanted to get in depth and, you know, get everything sorted. So, youth development, very low priority here at Watford, but we're going to hopefully take a youth, you know, take the youth up through the system. So, within two seasons, have at least one player from the youth academy signed in the first season, play at least a, uh, a third of the games in the next season. So, we've got two seasons to do that. So the, basically what he's saying there is sign someone this season and play them in a third of the matches next season. Long term for brand exposure, it's a medium priority here. So within two seasons, increase the team's experience level by getting an average age of the team up to 28. So I don't know why you would want that. I'd, I have never seen this one, but brand exposure, I don't think that's really a brand exposure thing. That's just how old your team is. Financial, so within three seasons, increase your club worth by 50% through player sales and competition, prize, money, rewards. We've got three seasons to do that. That's a medium priority. Domestic success is low priority. This should be high here for Watford Watford should be gunning to get back up in the Premier League I mean it says low priority here but it says win the championship I think we've got the potential to do that probably the only bigger challenges in the league potentially Bournemouth um, maybe Millwall people like that and continental success obviously we're playing in the championship so there's no continental football and then the round of 36 in the FA Cup that's going to be something as well because that will help us with the finances at the club, <clears throat> increasing the club's worth by winning there. So we're going to have a look at the weekly schedule. This is a brand new feature. So daily activities, uh, view the schedule for the team's daily activities for up to two weeks ahead. Uh, schedule rules, set out the rules which define the squad's weekly activity schedule. Those rules should include what players do before and after games. And then day-to-day -day customization. I can set activities manually for each day if you want to keep tighter control of your team schedule. Okay. So you've got the laid back stuff that you can let the computer choose what you want to do. You've got the, this is kind of what I want to do, but I'm not going to be taking it day to day. And then you can change like everything. Um, <clears throat> so training Wednesday, we're doing inside uh, heavy, all he heavy um, training sessions. Inside the draw zone, dribbling, defending scenarios and extreme hot potato. Then as you can see here, rest. And then training. The players are training to gain sharpness but lose fitness, but they get fitness and morale for resting. Uh, and then the friendly. And then recovery after a match. Um, so they get a high amount of fitness, but then lose the amount of sharpness on the recovery day after a game. So fitness and morale goes up, but sharpness obviously goes down. Uh, okay, so you probably want to keep on top of fitness and sharpness morale. I don't know how morale is going to work So in the calendar you'll find upcoming events activities you can sim to dates leaving you free to focus on your most important games uh, And then scheduling the rules Okay, so Like I said, we're gonna be simming uh, to at least like here basically, but before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go and have a look at the squad. Right, okay. So, sharpness. A player's sharpness will boost his performances, making him more responsive and effective during games. Make sure every player gets the training and playing time he needs to stay sharp. Fitness. I'm sorry you can't see this because of the face cam. 
Fitness is the key to a player's athletic ability during games. Give players enough time to rest and recover to make sure their fitness is at a peak for your most important fixtures. And morale has an impact on performance in games. Keep them happy by meeting sporting and contractual demands. Boost his self-belief when you talk about him to the press. Okay. Uh, team management so you can choose what formations you want for different game plans and then obviously you can change that during games so we've got a decent squad here we're running the it's the 5-3-2 or really the three centre backs with the two uh, right wing backs really so it goes wide very narrow so is Malari Sars playing out of position here uh, these are all centre mids. So it's a CDM that can play centre mid. Oh, so he's a centre mid that's playing... What? Oh, so, okay. So Ghana can play both CDM, centre mid and CDM, but Kylo Bar can only play CDM, so he gets a statistic decrease for playing centre mid. Uh, as well with Sema, he's a left mid for playing left wing back, and his Malaris are as well. So we've got obviously that's a that's a decent looking overall team, man. We've got almost an 80 rate goalkeeper, some high level midfielders. Obviously, we've got Dini, he's got getting on a bit now, but a decent, probably super sub might be starting most games. Murray's decent, Nabi Queener, he can grow a lot. Um, got a decent amount of like decent reserves here decent reserves um so okay let's sort out the squad <clears throat> sort out the squad put people in the right position for fuck's sake <clears throat> um you would get a decrease in statistics. Do we have any spare centre mids? <laughs> no, we don't. So we're going to have to play someone out of position. But obviously in this game, you can change someone's position. Um, and get them to a point where, you know, you can you can have them playing in the right position. So we've got a right wing back. Do we have a left wing back? We've got a left back. Uh, but that's going to decrease his... Oh, no. He could play left wing back nice okay so we're we're cool there how's defense looking we're gonna put dawson on that's a strong looking defense dude um obviously Kyle bar's playing out of position we're gonna put dini on and ismalari sa is a fucking sick youngster dude coming up i probably want to make him a striker as well uh but for the time being we're gonna put murray up front we're gonna have Sar on the bench, but this is this is going to be a good team. Look at this. This is our starting eleven, boys, and no one's beneath seventy. We've got the reserves of plenty of different players that that are above seventy that we can rotate and use. Plenty of players that we can improve as well. Uh, so that's cool. I like that. So we're going to save that as our first squad. It's a five-three-two. Um, squad hub wise I'm just going to skip over that because I basically know how this works ok so statistics I hope this year obviously I don't know yet that you can see statistics from previous seasons um, that would that would be a really good feature if they added that at some point this year um, financially who is on the biggest wage who's on the biggest wage I would assume De La Feu. Fuck's sake, he's being loaned out. Jesus Christ. So, other than that, the guy that's actually still playing, it's Dini and Etienne Capu. Two of the older guys have got um, quite a big wage. Okay. So, is Capu in the squad? He's not even fucking in the starting 11, dude. Uh, Etienne Capu. Can he play as... No, because he'll, he'll just lose. I mean, at least he'll be a 76. Um, yeah, he'll be a 76 even after that. So he's still better than the other guy. So this first episode, 
obviously we're just going through having a look uh i don't think we need a strength from the side so i think what we're gonna do now boys is we're gonna go to the calendar there it is <laughs> um we are going to sim to after we play sporting um okay so we're gonna see how the side performs a draw a loss to monaco and then a loss to sporting so that's not good we're not through not through to the knockout stages of the cup how much prize money do we get one million not bad not bad um bashir here has now served his suspension we've got a transfer offer for who steep perica for three million selling loan players so you'll receive approaches and offers from clubs looking to buy or loan players from you you can handle these negotiations yourself or pass the job over to your assistant manager uh, and then listing players if you list a player for transfer or loan interest in him will require increase sorry and you'll receive more offers for him block offers for a player if you aren't willing to sell him at any price and then exchanges so some clubs will offer deals including a player they're willing to exchange you can take you can ask to take a different player or you can refuse an exchange and insist on a straight transfer fee okay so this guy 2571 overall yo do you know what right reese if you're watching this video that watford kit is banging dude that is banging uh i'm gonna reject that because even if he's not playing he's gonna be a good rotation i don't want to i don't want to sell the whole rotation squad yet um so yeah basically we're gonna go into the league here and we're gonna quick sim all these games now you see even even doing quick sim takes a bit of time as you can see so i reckon what we'll do is we will we will sim to the first league game which is when the first the oh apologies guys my xbox pad is very temperamental we will sim to the 31st and then we will play uh the first game of the championship with you guys here and uh yeah we will be right back so before we actually go uh into the first match we got a ton of transfer offers through that month but obviously because we were simming um all of them withdrew the offers so yeah that's just something for note but i will see you against the game against preston north end right then so we're at molten road away from home away from vicarage road to play preston in the first game of the championship ladies and gentlemen and uh, i'm looking forward to this playing world class here with watford we should go up in the first season i feel as though we've got the quality in the side to do so uh and i do apologize if the game is a little bit choppy here at the start of the game uh, obviously it's like one of the first games of fifa 21 i've played today so uh yeah let's uh let's let's get into it let's let's get her going this one's probably going to be a little bit longer uh i aim per episode to do two video uh two matches so obviously the championship's one of the one of the longer um leagues in the english tier division for football as hughes got a little bit of space here takes the first shot off and he scored the first goal for Watford here in FIFA 21. This is the first signs of greatness from this Watford side. We've got aims of going back up to the Premier League, to conquering Europe. And the first step of that is going 1-0 up against Preston North End here at Molten Road in the Championship on a minute. But yeah, like I was, like I was saying... <clears throat> This one's going to be a little bit longer. I aim to do at least two videos, um, uh, two well games in one FIFA video. So in about <clears throat> just under 20 episodes, we should, we should have this first championship season covered. Um, yeah, the, the championship is the longest league season here in England. 
um, probably the one of the most difficult ones as well as we're coming forward with Etienne Capu takes a nice shot from range and uh, Preston keeper doing well there we're gonna we're gonna bring it forward a little bit couldn't quite get our heads on that but yeah like I say I like the way FIFA 21 feels even from doing the player career over on Twitch it, it was a ton of um, ton of fun and it feels smooth um, we had some good moments over there, so if you want to check that out, it's like it's like I'm plugging the merch basically. If you want to check that out, check the link in the description. But also, if you are new around here, feel free to like and subscribe the video. Like and subscribe, like the video, subscribe to the channel. You get daily content, anything from Call of Duty to FIFA to to Europa Universalis and other strategy games. Um, so yeah, we got all the stuff and things here on the channel as uh, Foster manages to get to that and make sure that Preston chance wasn't as good as it could have been, which I am grateful for that. Dean is coming forward. Uh, obviously, he's not as fast. He's not as fast anymore, but that's a nice little play. Passing it off to uh, Firmina. Turn, and I find Hughes. Uh, edge of the box, Etienne Capu trying for the outside of the box. Little uh, finesse shot there. Preston might be able to hit us with a little counter attack here. They've uh, switched the play there to the other side of the pitch, and um, Foster's managed to do a good job there. Managed to do a good job there in catching the ball. Feel free as well to oh, potentially not this season, but leave leave like advice on maybe formations or anything like that. I'm not really looking to bring anyone into the side um, this this season. I don't think we need it unless we get plagued with injuries, uh, which it is. It could happen. This is the championship. Um, but unless we get some heavy, heavy, heavy um, injuries which we can't recover from within the squad and within rotation players, I will probably look to um, to bring in some players, basically. But yeah, if we need to bring in some players, I will let you guys know 110%, dude. Don't you all worry. Oh, he's done me there. He's done me there. And they've got an equaliser at the back end of the first half. That is a big yikes, ladies and gentlemen. And he actually looks like a female, in fairness. Well, as we look at this again, the keeper's every right to ask where his back line was. But 2v1 in the end, he's thinking now, is he going to pass or go around? He's got no chance. So that's the end of the first half. Not a bad first half. We went in front quite early on. Uh, here's how the rest of the league's doing. Huddersfield's in front. Millwall's in front. Swansea is in front. Um, can't see stats yet, but yeah, let's get back into it. We're now kicking off. Start with possession. Hopefully, we can make some up of... Oh, that's nice footwork from Murray. Uh, come on, boys. Come on. Oh, bro, you just you just styling on those guys with a bloody overhead kick, dude, to clear the ball, bro. Trust me. So that's uh, offside. So that's a goal kick, basically. Well, it's a free kick, but. I tried styling it to Mr. Dini there. So Deli Ali's moved to Man City. Okay, that's um, that's something else. Maybe you can do something with his career at City because it's not going well for him at the moment at Tottenham. If I'm being honest, and uh, Daniel Johnson's just been able to 
absolutely run through the defense there due to auto deciding who my players want to be decent shielding nice work boys nice work swansea got 2-0 up in fairness etienne kapu i'm gonna play out white messina here on the offensive Oh. Okay, okay. We've still got the ball. We've still got the ball. Just take it, take it a little bit easy. Dini. <sighs> Unfortunately, two guys marking one never works out. Trying to, trying to find a pass here, not being able to do so, guys. Championship match that should hold plenty of intrigue. Join us. Uh, I don't think Kafkart's fast enough to keep up with Sinclair. He's not, but he put it way too far wide. Managed to uh, clear it somehow. I see Dini. Let's um, open up the tap just a wee bit. Get on that Kapoo. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Etienne Capu putting us back in front where we belong against Preston North End. Let's go. Let's go. Let's keep it moving. Uh, we will bring Ismailari Sar on. Why not? Get some fresh legs on the pitch from Murray. I uh, appreciate his first goal, but Ismailari Sar even playing in the wrong position is still better than Murray, so... There you go. So some fresh legs back into the match here. Maybe open, open up the the the, the gap and open up the lead a wee bit. There we go. Cleverly's managed to grab one. I found Dini there, and he's 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 managed to drop his man. Obviously, he's not the fastest. Ref, ref, come on! How is that not a pen, dude? The fuck. Um, Firmino manages to get his head on that. Oh, lovely stuff, lovely stuff. Can we get that to Ismailari? No, not, not quite. Not quite. Yeah, next episode we've got Sheffield Wednesday at home at Vicarage, which is not bad. I'm going to look at my OBS settings as well. Mid-episode. Ne uh, next Before next episode. Because it looks a bit choppy on your end. And I do apologise, guys. Gonna see if that's uh, to do with the frame rate or the quality. I might have to drop it to 720p, um, but I hope you guys don't mind as long as it's more of a smooth sort of video rather than chop, 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 chop. Yeah, it looks quite choppy, in fairness. Is Malari Sa? He's got the pace. He's got the pace. I know that. I know that. That's a goal. Oh, did the keeper get something on that? Did he get... Oh, wow. He actually got something on that. Okay. And that's the game, basically, guys, I think. Yep, GG, guys. So, we've come away from our first game in the championship against Preston with a solid 2-1 victory. Goal difference of positive one. Scored two goals. Not too bad. Good start. But, yeah, if you've liked the video, guys, drop a like down below. Subscribe if you are new. And I will see you around. Take it easy. But, guys, bye-bye.